So my name is Nadia, and I'm from Africa. I was born in 1986, and when I was born, I was born premature. The doctors told my mother I would have no hands, no legs, I would have no brain function. What they didn't know is that in 2016, I would be in Paris. <laughs> so what am I doing now? I'm very passionate about prematurity. I moved to South Africa, thanks to AXA. I love the beaches in Cape Town. And uh, there, I'm dealing with the number one cause of prematurity. My mother was healthy, but in South Africa, we have so many women who have HIV, and therefore they are at risk of getting their children premature, right? So what do I do? I go, I get a lady, she's HIV pregnant, I don't pick random women, they have to accept. Then she has to agree to come into the study. I get her at five months pregnant, because we don't want to miss the prematurity, right? And then she comes, I follow her up to make sure that if she got, gets the baby premature, I have to know what the problem is. After that, she gets her baby, so sad that it's often premature, I get the placenta. When I get the placenta, many of you know the placenta as the afterbirth. In Africa, the placenta is completely thrown away. But because of AXA, this is the first time that we're looking at the placenta. I look at the placenta and there are specific cells that I'm looking for. Why am I looking at these cells and why am I looking at HIV? These cells are called regulatory T cells in the lab. Outside the lab, I tell small children they're called the soldier cells. Why are they called the soldier cells? Because you're half your mom, you're half your dad, right? But when you're being carried in your mom's tummy, you can't be rejected. Your mom has to accept you whether you, your body, you know, her body thinks that this is foreign. Who's this other half, right? So the soldier cells have to go up so that you ensure that your body, um, her, her body doesn't reject the, the, the baby. But HIV comes and causes total confusion. It kills all those soldier cells. So the body is so happy to reject that baby. And then the baby comes out early. This has to stop. This may seem interesting. I can see you guys smiling. But what happens in Africa when you're a 21 year old, you've got HIV, you have no access to healthcare, your baby comes, you've never heard of an incubator, you can't afford oxygen, how many times is your baby going to die? This can't happen. So let me tell you what AXA has done. AXA took a premature baby, gave a lot of money, I'm now making sure that more premature babies 30 years from now can stand before an audience like this and be happy and healthy and enjoy Paris. I love Paris. <laughs>